Hello, and I'm back again, and I just wanted to say a few things about tech decks. On this board, I put these wheels into your wash remover, and I was hoping that it would just take off the design on the side, because they were already red wheels, but what happened is it softened the wheel up, and they don't work as well, but they I guess they are smoother. I guess. I don't know. But, just don't do that. And, try not to jump from high surfaces or land hard, because you can bend your trucks all out, or actually, you can, the pig actually come out. I can find on here. And in my last video, I told you about the World Chief Tech Decks that come with the good tools. Here's one. Here's one of the tools here. Here's the cheap wheels. The trucks are plastic and they don't have any bushing. But here's one of the trucks that I was jumping it and it's the pigs that should be on there. This one on the other side, I don't know if you can see it, but it's what it will better. Oh. There should be a pig on both sides, but there isn't. It's only on one side. The other one actually just came out. So, right here I have my other blind board, which is nice. I don't have any wheels on it right now, so. So, that's kind of bad. I'll be putting those on. And, there are videos on how to make tech decks out of credit cards and stuff. I made one, which didn't turn out very well, but it came out okay. I didn't, I just used one single, single ply, basically, and it's starting to spray, it's really flexible, even, I actually covered the entire top in super glue, so it would harden it, and didn't work very well, still bends, see that just actually broke off, that's funny, but, um, so I'll probably be, and even the pop isn't good on it. Washes will probably break off on me again. No, I just snapped it in half. I just, eh, just broke off. Eh. So, for making a credit card one, just use more than one ply, use three, maybe. And don't put super glue on it because it makes it break. Another thing is that. You can mess up your board a lot with Sharpie, unless you're really good at it, but put some Sharpie on here. And I don't know if you can tell, but some of the trucks are actually, the, they're bent. I don't think you'll be able to tell. And one of them is actually cracked on here, which you can't see on this, because the camera isn't very good on my laptop. And... I don't know what else to say, but today I'll be putting together a board for my friend, so let me get in here. Here's, here's the board right here. It's a girl board. It has the skunk on it. The Vic Howard one, which I did some stuff. Made it look like a wooden board. And I will be putting this together for him. So, when you're putting one together, the best way to do it is get the trucks out. Okay. And then, you would need four wheels, which I would, I'm going to use four girl wheels. On it. I can't seem to find another one. Oh, there's one. Here's my four wheels. They're in this tool that is stripped out. That one is stripped out. I have at least ten of them that are stripped out. So, you also need to get all eight of the screws and all four of the nuts for the wheels.
but you probably knew that already. So let me just get some real fast here. One. I have to put my tech decks in this container, which is kind of inconvenient if you're trying to get screws out because one of them just fell and they're hard to get out. You have to like use your fingernail. So put it in something that doesn't have like a little ridge in the inside. Those things just get stuck in there and they're hard to get out. And now I'm finding the formats out of here. There's no one. Just one more. Nope. We got the gold one. Yeah, I have two gold ones, silver ones. I think they're actually brass. They're cheap ones. Okay, my cheap tech deck. So, this is a good tool, actually. I saved this one. So, I only have four. Some screws are actually different sizes. Some of them have bigger heads on them than other ones. So you can just look at that. Sometimes it looks a little bit weird. Yeah. Some screws bigger than other ones on there. And then I'm going to see if you have spacers, which you used to be able to get in the old techniques, which I don't have any spare ones right now. Usually they would used to come in the old one, but now they just come in the skate shop, which I bought one, and they're like twenty dollars. And I guess they're worth it. They come with a like I guess they do like a toolbox and stuff, which the pegs that hold up the boards break really easily. And I guess it is kind of nice to have a drawer on there though, because it is very easy to lose these little pieces. Hold on a second. I found this screwdriver at Home Depot. It's a lot easier to get these screws in. So, just screw on the trucks, put on the wheels, you can do that, or you can put the spacers in, you can do a lot of things. And, if anybody is going to repaint their board, some people use scissors and scrape off the paint and then redo it. And just from experience, don't do that. Just use some sandpaper. And actually use, uh, I don't remember exactly what it was. But it's smooth sandpaper, but it's not extremely smooth at first, just to get the paint off. And then you can use smooth sandpaper and like get the right texture or smooth it off and everything. And when you paint it uh, on my custom one that I showed in the last video, I used electrical tape because that was a lot of painter's tape. And it worked okay, but it did go underneath a little bit there, if you didn't see the stripe. And if you go to Walmart, usually spray paint is pretty expensive. It can be three dollars a can for like bright pink spray paint, fluorescent, or any kind of spray paint, depending on the brand, can be up to five dollars. But if you're getting spray paint, go to Home Depot and you can buy some. Or not Home Depot, Walmart. You can buy some there for like ninety cents, I think, or ninety nine cents. So I'm going to stop and I'll make part two to this video. Right now, just put my trucks on. Put the screws in. Trucks are on there now. Some people take these apart.